Okay, guys. Um, Uichu Ryu Bill in red versus Hapkido. Hapkido, Kuksokwan, Hapkido in the Orange County. Nice. Again, Bill's the trapping master, right? He's the... Um, Uichu Ryu has its roots in Chinese martial arts. Look at that. He did take a punch on the entry, but... Yeah, um, a lot of you were wondering what happened to our man Bill. Here we see him. He's been battling an autoimmune disorder for the past maybe eight years. He let me know in the comment section. So he hasn't trained in a while, but he still has it, man. He felt like it wouldn't look too good because, you know, this is not him at his peak. But, hey, oh, yeah, ate a punch right there. So, um, for my understanding... Kuksokwan Hapkido is a very, very good um, system, too. Again, I don't know anything about Kuksokwan Hapkido, so if anyone from that lineage or those organizations want to talk to me, feel free to contact me. Ooh, lingered his leg a little bit. So, ooh, more leg kicks, guys. Come on, more leg kicks. He does give his, um, Bill is starting to give his arm and almost risk getting Kimura a lot. Notice that. Oh, nice. There we go. There's this tendency to downward block that I'm not too big a fan of. Oh, there we go. There's a leg kick. Oh, nice. There you go. More leg kicks. Come on, guys. More leg kicks. Nice. The... His impairing is still there. It's just that I don't like the downward block part of Bill's repertoire. That's the only thing. I'm not a fan of. Ooh. He also he he gets his left arm trapped a lot. Nice. There it is. Clinch fighting. So Ah, framing off the face. Not bad. Ooh, don't have both your face leave your don't both your hands leave your face. I was saying both your face leave your hands. Ooh, how would that work, guys? Um, yeah, um, also, he's probably tired. Bill's tired because he hasn't trained in a while. So, you know, Bill, thank you for showing us this. And seriously, you know, autoimmune disorders are not fun, man. So keep up the good work, Bill. So here's another person that Bill goes up against. Nice, good combo. So, it's interesting that Bill likes to throw the push kick from his power leg. Yeah, again, doing sort of... That was more like a scooping motion. But yeah, that that is a bad habit that... I don't want to call it a bad habit, but it is a habit that can be taken advantage of, right? So... Mm, there it is. There it is. The the same side punch kick combo Bill's still really good at doing. So, again, I'm not trying to compare him to before he got sick, right? So, we're just trying to celebrate the fact that he's got into it. He keeps eating punches over the top, though. I do like the... I do really like the control in this. So, this would be a great school to kind of go train at. I could tell. So... Shout out, by the way, the person filming is my viewer, Min. Not the Kyokushin Lethway Min, but a different Min. So look at, there we go. Bill's in his groove again. So, there is a little bit of a flinch response. Sometimes when he uses his, um, I guess, forearm slash elbow to block some of those shots. Oh, he should have followed up immediately with that spinning thing. Because he lingered his, his back of the head a little too long in that final part but still we're seeing some really good he's, he's getting in his own man bill was bill's so humble he's like oh jerry i don't look as good as before it's like well it's okay bill we still love how you interpret trapping and i think wing chung people can still learn a lot from this man so wing chung and Chi ryu um, karate this is probably my only controversial thing i say probably have similar roots they both have roots in certain systems of sh southern martial arts in china 
So Wing Chun people were like, no, 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 we invented something amazing, oh my god. This was awesome, shout out viewer Min, and go follow his channel, man. I want him to upload more stuff. Again, shout out Bill. Bill has been battling an autoimmune disorder. So Bill, if you ever want to talk to me, feel free to message me privately. And also, we should always, like I said, I think when I first found you in 2018, love to do an interview with you whenever. Now, also, I want to shout out Min. Min's the viewer that took this footage. Min wants to go to different gyms and just film sparring. He wants to get more of this content out. Just, he wants to put more of it out. And of course then fight commentary breakdowns, bring it to you guys, right? Could analyze it, provide his unique commentary flair. So I want you guys to go follow Min's channel right now. I think he just needs this initial boost in viewership for him to stick to it. So shout out Bill, shout out Min. And then the hot keto person, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name, both of you guys, but you guys are welcome to share anything with me too. If you guys want to interview with me on Fight Commentary Chats, always down. You know, the human body's weird, right? It just doesn't always follow what we want to do. As you guys know, you know, I have a little bit of an ankle sprain right now. Not a little bit, a big ankle sprain. We'll get through it, man. It's part of the martial arts. It's part of the human experience, right? And sometimes we got our ups and lows, but this community, I hope, helps all of us, man. It surely helped me. That day I was feeling so just unhappy because of my condition right now and then I just called up viewer Min because he gave me his number and you know I don't always check all my emails obviously because I get contacted by a lot of people and I was like oh my god I feel bad that I never replied to him so I called him I just talked to him and he's like oh my god I thought you weren't interested in my emails I'm like no dude I just I've been injured and I just don't always check emails and when I do sometimes I don't get to every email unfortunately when you list a public email it's not just viewers that contact which I love when viewers contact it's also a lot of these stupid companies with these stupid whether they're good products or bad products or complete scams, they want to work with you. It's like, stop bothering. Your emails all look generic. Your emails all look really dumb. I'm talking about these companies, right? I'm not talking about viewers. Viewers, send me anything. So it's like, you have to filter through all that junk just to get to a viewer email. And sometimes you're like, oh, this whole page is just filled with junk messages. And you miss maybe a message from a viewer. So yeah, but anyways, guys, I will hopefully find a better email server soon. In fact, I should get on that right now, right after I make this video. And then it'll be hopefully an email service that I check a little more. We'll go from there. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Again, shout out everyone in the video. And we have a lot more to come. Probably tomorrow, it's going to be viewer docs. This is going to be a whole viewer appreciation week. Also, guys, Chilala is probably coming to America. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that. I'll have more updates on that soon. See, there's lots to look forward to, guys. Okay, talk to you soon.